Welcome everyone. Just remember before we get started, if you want to download the project links, it will be down below in the description. Just all you got to do is enter your email and it's completely free. Welcome back everyone. In this lecture or video, we'll be continuing our uh, game over scene. So we're going to create a game over overlay and then, you know, have it work. So it should be able to allow us to reset the scene and pause and everything like that. So, okay, let's get started by adding a canvas layer to our main scene here and to our world. And this will be well, our game over, uh, game over, oops. oh my god, I can't type today, overlay, there we go. Or you can just say game over screen, I'll just say game over. In here, we'll add a, well, a few things probably, right? A label, panel, and a, a button, right? So we can actually press something and reset the level. Okay, for the panel, let's overlay it over this area here. Now, we haven't worked with canvas layers yet, but it's pretty simple. The basic idea of a canvas layer is that it draws anything on top of our screen, no matter where it is, no matter where my camera moves. So this blue line that you might be able to see on your screen as well is where the entire screen I see. So if I hit play, I will see well, an entire uh, thing here over my player, even though my camera is meant to be this big, right? And uh, let's say I make this on the top right. If I hit play and I start moving around, that panel moves with me. So you can imagine that this is a very good node for GUI or user interfaces, stuff like that. Okay, for the label, let's pop this in front. Let's pop this over here, like this. And what we'll do is we'll change a few things. Uh, the first part is let's actually click out and click in again so we can get the inspector properly. Say game over. We'll align everything in the center. And then we'll scroll down to theme overrides. We'll go to font size and let's pick like 60. I think that's a good size. Now for the button, we'll make this a little bigger, connect this over here and just say retry. Okay, let's rename this to retry. We'll add a game over uh, button here for a script. We'll connect it to our scripts folder and just open it right there. Create, we'll delete all this. We don't need any of that. And we'll connect our retry button to our script. Here we go. Now this is easy. We can just say get tree dot reload current scene. And that's it. So now when I hit play, here we go, I can retry and it resets my scene. So this is our overlay, but obviously there's more to it than this, right? Because I don't want it to always show and I don't want it to, uh, I don't want to be able to play when this is showing. So what we can do is create a function here. Let's say uh, it's game over and we'll just call this function whenever it is game over, right? So now what we can do is do a few things. First, we can say self.show because most likely this overlay should not be showing. We can also say get tree dot paused, okay, paused equals true. Uh, get tree, we need that as a function. Now there's a problem here. Uh, let's create a function ready and also say self dot hide. There is a problem, which I will showcase to you in just a second. So let's uh, call this function when I die. So in here, in my player, this is where I die, right? So here I can call the game over uh, function here, the node, and just call game over. Now I'm going to remove this and say get node uh, because I try to stay consistent with my uh, node accesses. Okay, so I'm getting the node and calling the game over scene. Uh, and here I say self queue free. Now, instead of saying self queue free, because that actually gets rid of the um, the, what do you call it? <laughs> the camera as well. What we can do is we can take our animation player, or I think we already have that, so we can just call anim and queue free that. So it looks like our player dies, right? And now if we hit play, we can play, and okay, what is the anim? Oh, I didn't call the uh, auto load the anim. All right, so in our script, we will get node player anim. And then we'll queue free that. 
All right, so let's play. If I go over here and die, once that's finished, the game overly comes up. Now, there's a problem. I can't click it. Well, I can, but it's not doing anything. Now, why is that? The reason is actually quite simple. Well, it's because we paused the scene. It's because we paused everything. So, well, how does that make sense? How do we have a pause overlay if the game is paused? Well, it's actually pretty easy. If we go to the inspector tab of our game over scene here, we can see in the process mode here in the node, we have process and here it says inherit. Inherit is what we want for all nodes, except for this one, because this one, we want it to be able to process even when it's paused. Now we can just say always, but when paused would also work, right? Um, disabled is essentially paused. Disabled is kind of what you're doing when you pause the tree. So imagine you're disabling every node when you're pausing. And obviously we don't want this to be disabled. We want this to always work. So let's hit play and try this. Let's see if it works. Here I'll die, hopefully. And I can hit replay. And now we can see that we have another problem, which is that our tree is still paused. So when I retry, I can unpause my scene and just say false. Okay, that should work. Feel free to test it yourself, but that is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we'll be making our game a little prettier because this is as cool as it looks. Uh, the panels and buttons and everything uh, don't really look that pretty. So we'll be implementing some uh, GUI, some custom GUI, and I'll show you how to do that with a theme. And yeah, so we'll get through that in the next lecture. We'll also be doing custom fonts, which will be relatively simple. Uh, I'll go through how to find some on your own. Uh, which will take like a minute. And yeah, so I'll see you all in the next video. Hope to see you there.